rough day yesterday. It was only 22nd of the 26, and this is what just happened. Man, <laughs> really quite simple. Just lock the brakes. Like the front, just outside front lock. Outside front locked and smash. And I mean, he missed all the tire barriers as well. That was straight into concrete with the front of the car. That's... All right, guys, well, I had to come out to pit lane for this session because Indy Lights just finished and the drivers looked exhausted just after a short practice. We're here with Pato Award. Pato, how do you describe the conditions in the cockpit right now? Man, I don't blame them. It is, it is hot inside of the car. And the worst part is, honestly, half of the track. So turn four, five, six, seven, and eight, there's no airflow whatsoever. Um, when I got out of the car, yes, I, I don't think I've ever gotten out of a race car. Even after a race, I compared to like an Iowa race, um, it was extremely warm. So what do you do to get ready for tomorrow? Because it's not going to be any cooler tomorrow. You got an 80 lap race. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, man, all you have to do is, I guess, hydrate. And uh, we don't have the luxury of the cool suits. Um, so Why not? That's a great question. <laughs> they just... I guess they're not available to us. Um, ice bath, maybe? <laughs> ice bath is probably going to be your best bet to cool down your core. So you'll fire off no cool suit right now. I'm going to fire off to go check out Nashville and show the fans this amazing track, but I need to borrow a scooter. I normally steal one, but I'm going to ask permission to be a gentleman. Can I borrow your scooter? <laughs> Absolutely not. I've heard what you've done with those things. Basically just down here taping stuff up, so there, there's no more damage than that. They had, don't have any tools out here. It's all just duct tape, and, and you see it there. They're just making sure everything's patched up, but no concerns. And, in fact, I think they're going to put this same tire on uh, that they hit the wall with. So just replacing a front wing, basically making sure everything with the electronics, the radio there at the front is, is all good and everything's sound there. But uh, just a minor collision and, and nothing of major concern, at least right now, for V. Speak of the devil, Graham Rahal has found the wall. That's up at the top end of the racetrack to that slow section. Turn seven, I believe. Graham's able to get the it's United Rentals Honda going. Oh, what the hell happened there, literally? Put straight. And if we take, if we steal the front end of that, I'm pretty sure Graham said, I don't know what happened there. Right. So here he is. This is up through five into six. Start him and avoid a red flag. So here we are over the bridge. Big bumps. Look how bumpy it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good Big side. rear locking. We've heard a lot of drivers talk about issues with rear locking so far this weekend. Seems to be a little bit of a trait here at the racetrack. Just nature of the course, the bumps. And Dave Burns knows a little something more about Colin Hurley. He was just told that the AMR safety team is going to come over and try to give him a local uh, restart there. Remember, these cars don't have starters on them, and you've got to get that done manually there. And so one of the things that Brian Hurley told me this morning is one thing that we don't want is what happened yesterday, which was we brought out a red, and we lost track time. We lost practice time. So hopefully this will stay green, and that won't happen again. Competitive the rookies have been. We're watching yes. one of them, Callum Eilat, right now. He's in 12th place. We saw him a little higher earlier. We obviously have seen both Kirkwood and Christian Lundgaard up top. Whoa. Oh, that's what a run on looks like. Spinner, beautiful flick spin. PPG Chevrolet of Joseph Newgarden, and guess what has happened since we were with you yesterday? They have now, they being IndyCar Race Control and the promoter of this event, have opened up that cut through, that runoff area, so you can continue. Your lap is invalidated, and that's what happened to Joseph by doing that because you go in at turn one, you pop out at turn three. So they invalidate your lap, but at least you can continue and you don't require the AMR safety team to come on out with the uh, the dolly jack and turn you around and get you restarted or whatever. You can just sweep on through. So the, the porta potties have gone from yeah, the left. They were they, there. There were three of them there yesterday. Uh, the tire stacks are still the same. They've just uh, opened it up and are able to yeah, they've go on through. Oh, oh, wow. Whoa. That was a heck of a save from Kyle Kirkwood out of turn nine. Lit up the rear tires. Two massive black streaks leaving the corner. A couple of weeks for the last oval of the year. Then we head to the Pacific Northwest. Oh, Rosenquist in the wall. He had been, the wall. He'd been having such a great weekend. Second yesterday, fifth today, and he smashes that Views Arrow McLaren SP Chevy into the wall. Look at it crabbing. It's, uh, yeah, big damage to the left rear there. He's got it still running. It's going to be 
a long and, and painful trip back to pit lane, but better to keep the car running and rolling. And you, you just saw, it looked like he got a little bit loose in the middle of the corner, had to overcorrect just a tiny bit. Here we go, into turn three. Got on the power a little early, back end stepped out and just slapped it. I think Pato Award had an issue there last year, but down in turn nine, Pato Whoa. Award at the same time, absolutely scorching that right front. Because the car is turning to the right here, you're a little bit left-hand loaded when you hit the brakes. Normally it's the inside tire that's the easier one to lock, but because you're turning while you're braking there, you can unload that right tire and have that happen. Evelyn DeFrancesco smashes Ooh. into the wall. That was hard. That was a pretty big impact for sure. You can see the car crabbing a bit as well. He's laughing at me because he said, I just burnt 500 calories standing there waiting for you, which that's one of my questions. How hot is it? It's so hot. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's about as hot as the Dex image in Chevy right now. The car feels really nice. That was a good pun, right? Um, no, no, um, but no, I'm feeling really good. Um, very hot out there, but we train hard for this. And, you know, it's humid. That's probably the biggest, hard, the hardest thing for us right now as drivers. But um, you know, I feel really good. Dex car feels good. Um, you know, loving the track. Um, just got to try and convert it and qualify. And who knows what the weather's going to do. Cool suit guy or not? I'm not a cool suit guy. I've had too many fail on me in Australia, so uh, I was, I've, 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 you know, I'm going to go nat naturally aspirated and uh, and just really just try and rely on the top duck and the air fan. This morning you told me the car was so good you could focus on your laps around here. Was that the key to the P1? Yeah, I mean right then I was just we hardly changed it. We took a little bit of front wing out and just focused on what I could do. And you know, I feel really comfortable. Um, but you know, this is IndyCar. Anything can happen. You can be in a really sweet spot and things can change. And we found that out last round. So you know, head down, bum up, and um, just focus on qualifying now. Nice practice run for Scott McLaughlin. That reflect him on top. Newgarden, his teammate second, and his other teammate, Will Power, third in a Penske, one, two, three. Pretty impressive performance from those guys. Alexander Rossi flying the flag for Andretti Autosport. His teammates, Colin Herta and Roman Grosjean, also inside the top ten. So another strong showing from them. But as you said, Cal Kirkwood there in P5, top rookie. And Christian Lungard following up from yesterday's quick time. Can I tell you this? First time that Scott McLaughlin has led a session since Saturday practice at St. Pete. What did you do in St. Pete? He won the place, well, qualified on pole, and he won the race. Pole position. I mean, won he, the race. he led the set. He led the race session in uh, mid Ohio. <laughs> if we're if we're being specific, <laughs> winning that one.